Yo, what's up, guys? It's Gersh, and welcome to the smallest map ever created in Zombies. I know it's kind of cliche as a one-window challenge, but I needed something a little faster and not as long to do. So this is, like, sort of the first video I'm doing, and I wanted it to be just a quick introduction as I can't knife this man. There we go. And I just wanted to kind of show my skills when we're at a barrier and kind of go over what I'm expecting. But, uh, yeah, hey, welcome to the channel if you're here. I gladly appreciate you. If you want to, you can sub or comment or whatever else. You can also just leave if you want. I am not doing this as a job as of yet, even if I do get that far. I'm more or less doing it as a hobby. But anyways, so why the name Gersh? Well, mainly because the Gersh device, why not? The Gersh device is the best special equipment in the game. Don't at me. And that's really about it. Also, I guess Gersh is a really cool character inside the story as well. But yeah, I guess the whole lore is that... Uh, I'm not even going to do that. We're just going to cut it there. So, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to the map, but I am trying. I'm going to say, like, round 15 or something in hopes that I don't get overwhelmed at some point. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see how this works. Wow, two sniper rifles. Look at that. I got the Dracon and the SVG. Even though this was... I don't remember exactly. It's kind of like a bolt action, but not exactly. Because there's no bolt action on it. It's just automatic, as you can see there. But yeah, this weapon... It's not even that powerful as a sniper rifle, I, I feel like. Like, I'd rather just take either the Locust or... I don't remember what the other one's called. As we get a death machine here. Yeah, I'd rather take the Locust or... I don't remember if the other one's even in Zombies. If there is another one. I guess there's a DLC one, but... Yeah, that's not even in Zombies. Basically, if you're going to take a sniper rifle, take the Draken. Alright, let's try our luck on something else here. What do we got? Oh, Peacemaker Mark II. The uh, bigger... Or I guess the little brother to the original Peacemaker from Black Ops 2. Which... Hopefully I can play some of that at some point. If I get around and I need people to play with which I am looking into that at the moment oh, this is actually a really good points gun I didn't realize how good of a gun this was then again we're only on round 5 but hey points gun right off the bat though should probably go for some of the perks here mainly probably speed just so I can get that reload in yeah I'll go for speed here and then probably double tap. Yeah, double tap. I don't know if we need jug at all. I mean, we probably do. We'll probably get it at some point. But, I mean, if they're just going to stay inside the window, there's no reason to guard something else. It's not like they're going to come behind me back here. Alright, good to know that we are just cracked out right now on speed. Look at that reload time. I need to do it faster myself. So important things about me is, you know, I do work a job, so I might tell stories from time to time. Um, like today, I guess I should, I should state that I am IT support, mainly. And by that, I mean I do IT support and then literally everyone else's job. So that's always fun when someone's like, yeah, I don't know how to do this. And I'm like, yeah, you do. It's like, what are you talking about? You don't know how to do that. It's literally what you were hired for. So, yeah, that's always fun. Oh, M1 Grand, this gun sucks. I know they brought this back for the classic of it, but, okay, maybe it's a lot stronger than I thought it was. Then again, we have Double Tap, which Double Tap kind of enhances the damage on everything, which, I mean, that's the entire point of it. My, like, gripe is that you can't reload it until your magazine is empty, but apparently that is how M1 Grands are. 
since I'm not really much of an old school gun nerd when it comes to that. Oh, we got some Arnie's. That's not bad. Uh, is this map going to do that stupid thing? I thought they fixed that. Well, I got rid of... Yeah, I only have one weapon now. That's great. Thanks, game. See, this is what happens. Like, Gersh devices would never do that to you because they're not even on a lot of custom maps. And when they are, they're, like, super OP. Like, I'm trying to think of a map that they're on. Like, if you remember, like, UGX mod, that's, like, a throwback to, like, was that 2014 or something like that? It's kind of crazy that was 10 years ago and, like, they were in their heyday. But yeah, they had a Gersh device in their mod and that was, like, good. I'm trying to remember. I don't know if any other like, custom maps I know have implemented a Gersh device. It's mainly just Ascension and Moon that I remember them from. Yeah, speaking of UGX mod, it's kind of a shame that they never got to see the light of Black Ops 3 modding. I feel like they would have gone strong like no other if they had a chance, but I think they just lost passion or closed down. or I don't know exactly what the story is on that. Alright, we can get some dead shot. I forget, does this only allow me four perks? Did I kind of screw myself or can I also get Jug? I guess we'll find out. See, hey, my only main gripe about UGX mod in Black Ops 3 is that, um, you know, my favorite game mode is Chaos Mode. Which, if you remember, like, right before Black Ops 3 mod tools came out, they made... They made it for, uh... Was it UGX mod 1.1? And that's, like, my most played thing on World at War at the moment. I can buy that. Okay, we're good. Yeah, Chaos Mode. Like, that's a game mode that they really just need to bring back. Like, that would be a perfect Zombies mode. It's just Chaos Mode. Like, just multipliers, dog tags, all this other stuff. I got a Man of War here. Some more points out of them. Yeah, Chaos Mode. All their, like, Arcade Mode, was, which is really cool. Uh, was it, like, King of the Hill, I think, was one of them. Gun game. They need to bring back gun game too, which... I mean, I wasn't too fond of it for zombies, but... I mean, it's at least something else. Like, just kind of surviving is a little... Kind of gets boring every once in a while. Which, there are mods for it. But, like I said, someone should make a chaos mode mod, and I'll just play the crap out of that for Black Ops 3. Alright, let's get uh, some more points here. In hopes that we can get to the Pack-a-Punch. You know, I also have Arnie's. I kind of forgot about that, that I had those. So if it does get a little overwhelming, I can throw those. Which, I mean, that's kind of like this... Arnie's is literally just Black Ops 3's version of the Gersh device. Like, you, you, you have to agree with me on that one. They kind of do the exact same thing. Minus the fact that Arnie's are from... Wow, the Peacekeeper really loves me, doesn't it? Um... Yeah, it's basically Gersh devices. In a in a sense, like I feel like the Arnie's might be a bit more powerful. I th I don't really know exactly, but I think the Gersh devices. Well, I don't know. They okay, so the Gersh device can teleport you. Like you know, how awesome that is to just randomly get teleported somewhere. It's not very fun, but I mean, I won't put that past my opinions on it though. Like. Once, once I'm on that, I'm just standing strong on my beliefs on how much the Gears devices are superior in every way to a lot of the other stuff. A lot of people would say, like, the Hell's Retriever and Redeemer are superior, but, uh, no, I, I, I don't agree with that. Okay, we're gonna pack much Man of War. We got the Dread Armada. Yeah, it's basically a Gersh device, minus the fact that, you know, it's a tentacle monster. Alright. I mean, tentacle monster, black hole, they're kind of two sides of the same coin, as in not exactly at all a two sides of the same coin. But, you know, you just kind of got to go with the give ya. And, uh, yeah, that's what they gave me, so. Let's see, what else is there? 
projects I'd want to do is I'd want to play like have like a grief mode tournament because I never really had friends during Black Ops 2 that played on PlayStation 3 is what I grew up with. Everyone was on Xbox back in high school. So you must know. If you know, you know. So yeah, just having like a grief mode tournament. Like if people just like came with like teams of four and like plutonium or something like that. Like that would be sick just to play like grief grief mode on like town or mob the dead even buried even though i don't think i've ever played grief mode on buried i'm trying to think there, yeah there's grief mode on farm but no one ever played farm there's always town or if there's a grief mode mod for black ops 3 that would be also kind of fun depending on what happens you know there was that like pvp ve mod for black ops 3 that i remember like Tim Hansen and Crazy Rabbit and Lex and I don't remember the last person that they did. Wow, I really, the pack much got rid of the site. That's interesting. I mean, that'd be kind of fun. I mean, I don't know how big I would even get in the community just because I'm like at kind of reviving a dead channel I tried making like almost two years ago. So, but I mean. I got a cool name, I feel like, and I made that profile picture, which I'm very proud of, and I think it's kind of funny. So I'm just kind of making videos now, just kind of seeing what happens. A lot of people have expectations for me, and I'm just like, screw the expectations, I'm kind of going to do my own thing, I don't care. Do you think I care? I'm shooting zombies on a, the smallest map in the entire game. You can't, you can't put that past me at all. All right, we're gonna double pack and hope that we get something cool. I got Thunderwall. I don't really want Deadwire because I don't want to like live forever because Deadwire is really good at that. As I get Deadwire there, good job. I'm just gonna use it because I can. It's fun. We'll use Thunderwall for now. Nice. I remember the very first double pack punch that I got was Thunderwall. And I thought it was the best thing ever because it was like Thunder Gun, and then you know like. You look online and it's like, yeah, so Deadwire literally just kills on any round. And you're like, well, dang. Nice. Well, I'm out of ammo with it. That's nice. All right, we need to... I can't really double pack this. I can give me ammo. I need to live. Clutch mode activate. Come on. I'm hitting the side of the barrier. I uh, get the last few kills before insta kill goes out. Oh, please hurry up. All right. All right. We kind of got really lucky there. This is where it's going to get interesting. Oh, Thunder Gun. All right. Maybe not. Will it get interesting now? Who knows? I mean, that didn't do like anything in Mark III. There's no sound effects, but like epilepsy warning. I might just stick with the thunder gun, honestly. Uh. Wrecked. Alright. I actually want, like, an actual gun. Our goose. Oh, yeah. It still kills. Oh, boy. That's kind of bad. They got a little overwhelming there. Alright. Not to, not to worry. Not to worry. We can hopefully get all the perks back. Okay, we're gonna need these main three here and hope that they don't do anything. Oh, shoot, that's bad. Please throw it. All right. What happened to my Arnie? Just not here. All right, let's try this. There we go. Oh, was that my last Arnie, too? All right, at least the Arnie didn't work. How much work that thing did. Oh, uh, Regan Mark III again. All right. Oh, that was all my quick revive. Well, that sucks. I'm stupid box being right next to this thing. I don't want the Argus. Actually, I might, actually. 
We'll speed things up a bit. I mean, there's no sound effects for this thing for some reason. And this thing also doesn't give you, like, any points either. Alright. We'll get some... I don't know if this is going to give me, like, that much points, but... What was the other thing I needed? Jug? I'm a bit off from there. I really just want an automatic weapon. Give me something good. Well, I guess it's not the stand, but it's the bootlegger. That's not doing really anything. Ooh, that's a massive ooh for me. No, this could be it for now. Never mind, we got Arnie's. They knew. No, oh, I got enough for Jug. Maybe a stronger weapon here. Or should I just pack a bunch of this? Who knows? What I get? Locust? Yeah, that's not happening. Oh, jeez. Watch this. Literally Gersh device. I just realized that. It's amazing. You can't take the Gersh away from Gersh. It's too powerful. Even though Louis not getting me any points. But, I mean, it's working. Ooh, I got the FFAR. For the FAMAS. You, why are you both invisible? Oh, jeez. The glitch happened. No. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So, thanks for watching the video. It means a lot. I'm Gersh, signing off.